Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Unheard Part 2. Good work. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Oh god. Before we go any further, I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. Yes, I know. I just started the game. There's already There's ringing. About, I can assure you. I, when the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Thank you. Now on to the next scenario. To further test your abilities, we'll try a higher profile case. I don't even I'm remember the last time. <laughs> I need help. Uh, how do you do this? There you go. The bombing that occurred last year at the central police complex downtown. They don't like it when it's a in the left ear. In a crowded police station. He was oh, okay. Oh god. Now, what's your take on this? Bombing. How do you even control this again? Oh god. It's ruining you super badly. How do you control this again? Ah, it's right click. Who brought the bomb? Who detonated the bomb? Who is Raven? Um. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check. This is Dwight. I'm assuming. Theft case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. They're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? Schrader. Night? Well, what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to bust this you. You ridiculous. still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law abiding uh... citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Oh, well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Captain Martin? Here. Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade? And Doug? How's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. You don't act like you know me. You two. Phones, wallets, and Blade, whatever you Doug. have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. I'm not Our sure if this is right. Sort out the details. I'm just going with these people first. Hi. Uh, I'm not sure if these are if I have the right blade and dog. It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I okay. got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? Quiet. Yeah, both that's of Doug. You. That's I'm right. I'm doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the station, I'm gonna make you take another breath of life. <sighs> we blew the scene. Negative. What more do you want? <laughs> oh god. You gonna let us go or not? Congratulations, no. loudmouth. You're up first. Ooh. Follow me. You stay right here. I'm gonna continue to follow them over here. Interrogation room. What the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The oh. is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. Who is Raven? Alright, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. Oh, good. The conference room. Go in there and stall him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? This what is Jessica. You? Car accident. Fake car accident. Only it didn't seem so fake to him. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't you let her loose. Uh, let's follow this one. Roger that. Oh wait. No. Ravens in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. Who the hell is this? Alright, I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know. Oh god, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was yeah. already getting suspicious. Okay. Oh god, the voices. Can I, can I see here? Yeah, there you go. so Hollywood blockbuster, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Same. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. It echoes in my left ear. 
It's amazing. After he pulls off a major heist. He wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why okay. I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. Oh, yeah. If this precious pattern of his means anything, mm. we might have a chance of nabbing him tonight. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running the rackets in this city the past few years. So when he calls a meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. I'm not Even fully sure what clue I need to tenants. No wonder Doug's listen to. A hissy fit about getting up to that hotel. Okay. He wouldn't miss this get together for the world. He's been wanting more territory for a while. Do I now. Sleeve he thinks he's got a shot at the crown. That's why he's so anxious. The rest of the underbosses are probably headed there as we speak. Raven's supposed to show up later. Mm. You don't think by any chance that Doug is Raven? No. I don't think he is. But I can't say for certain. A lot of guys will be there. Any one of them could be him. Hmm. If we sweep up the whole group, we can sort him when we book him. Yeah. I guess we'll so it's not marking this not late. Okay. At least. You head up there with Doug. I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cop! You know for a fact my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah. Don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government vehicle. Why are you here? Oh god. Oh god. Who is Raven? These are 12 people. Hello, Sergeant. Uh, do they follow Jessica now? Who oh. is this? Are you done? It was just a phone! Guy didn't even want to press charges! But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about an eye at something like this on night patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. No. Just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much longer. Somebody paid your Much longer. Nah, I'm in no hurry. Though can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. <laughs> That's Dwight's phone. <laughs> Come on in. Well, speak of the devil. <laughs> uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. Yeah. I'm almost done. You're <sighs> lucky you aren't being booked. But you Who still gotta this? fill this out. No. For crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There. Ta da. Sign sure? the data. Can I leave now? No. Mm -mm. You two were going to reception. Okay, okay. Mickey! Glad to see you! Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. Mickey. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? Two you phones. Think daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, <sighs> officer. I'm following Dwight now. So sorry for the trouble. I'm suspicious of Dwight, as in very suspicious of Dwight. I'm waiting for you to talk. Or, you know, actually go to the bathroom. No? Yeah, it's taking you long. Oh! God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. Oh. I'm assuming Dwight brought the bomb. Again, not good at this. That's just an assumption. A very bad assumption. He's taking so long. Dude, actually go to the bathroom. For at least. 
call someone. Yeah, there you go. It's calling someone that doesn't pick up their phone. Sad. I think that's Mickey. It's calling, possibly calling Nick Mickey. I still haven't named the Chip Cassidy, Sting, Tucker, and Kint. There was someone here earlier. Hmm. Oh. Beautiful. Why do you even bother? Ah, oh, shove it already. Who's coping the kids? Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. Soon enough. Oops! Sorry uh, about that. It's fine. You just stole that guy's phone. That was something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. Chip. What's a phone to you, huh? Chip. This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone, it's access. Access to yeah, the owner's... Yeah, true Nah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. <laughs> what did I tell you, huh? There's my Damn, money! Damn, Mickey, you the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, again? You again? That's gotta be a record. Yeah, I, uh... Yeah. seem to have this place to again. Here? So it's not with them. You do this time. You have this place to again. Please a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. This way. Let's this bullshit and get me out of here. Come on. Oh god, this is a long conversation. Who is this? Roadblocks. It's just. There you go. Who is this? It's just you and me now, Sting. What do you guys Sting. Pull, huh? I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no. Tucker. Possibly this is Tucker. This is the only other person that I have here. I mean, at least here in the room. Um. No one's in the other bathroom, right? Yeah, no one's with Dwight. Someone outside? Nope. Nope. Then who is Kent? And Cassidy? Who the hell are these people? Oh, someone's with them. Tucker, it's me. I'm at your place. Where are you? Oh. If you just keep it that way, do whatever you need to do, just don't you let go me leave. Roger that. Word on the street is Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? Hunting thing? So this isn't Tucker then. Yeah, that's not Tucker. It's possibly Kim. Cause uh, Doug's talking to. Oh, where? Yeah, where? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. Got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gonna pat me down too? Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You'll get him back when you leave. Doug. Tucker. Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you talking to Doug? Damn, I'm not really getting any information for now. 
I haven't. I'm not following any lines. You knew. Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll, I'll take, take it, it from, from here. here. Mm, understood. Tell me. Let's talk in my office. See? Something secret. I'm not sure. Take a seat, please. Now. What the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Yeah. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent. Mm. Kent, he... he couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. <laughs> Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. Okay. Saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. Uh. Oh, shit. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's the your boss, boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know. So it's I dog trying to trick you. Just curious is all. It's not them. Let me try to join Kin for a while. There you go. He's sleeping. Me? Right to have to bother. Oh God, that's loud. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you. Oh, Kent is just sleeping. Kent is a heavy sleeper. So who's calling now? Is it Dwight? Is it Dwight and Kent? Yeah, it is Doug and Kent. Hey, Dwight and Kent. Yeah. Damn, Kent is a heavy sleeper like me. Where's this place, huh? Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. <laughs> Damn, I yeah. missed the phone call. You are. That was quick. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody still Jessica breathing? Wilson. Well, would you look who's yeah. awake? Quiet in there. Hey, come on, let me out. What are you in for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why'd they even bother? Ah, oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. And I'm gonna listen to Mickey and Chip. Fuck next. I passed out. Somebody slipped something in my drink. I still feel groggy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all claiming they didn't drink that much. <laughs> sure, I'll bet you were totally dry in college or whatever. Go ahead. Have trouble walking straight. Ooh. Legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way, let's get you released. For a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, right. you still hit a gun. Here, so don't have this place. Are you here? Yeah, I know. I've reached the end. They need to play it again. Hello, Sergeant. And Doug? Oh. How's life treat? Oh, you're lucky. You're going to... Mickey. Mickey Ocean. Another one. Uh, my friend here. And turn in a minute. Take our friend here to the... Just a sec. All right, should be here in a few minutes. Now, you're going to tell me what's going on? Oh, God. Too much. Raining cats and dogs outside. Oh, I'm going to call okay. us a cab. Just a sec. I right, should be here in a few minutes. Now, you're gonna tell me what's going on? I was at the Mountain Hotel. 
Okay. I saw that chump hanging outside. It stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. Ow! You shit for brains. How many times I gotta tell you? You can't make banks stealing phones. Well, I just thought. True. You know, practice makes perfect. Unbelievable. You really are a moron. Ooh. Oh, whatever. Look here. I'm gonna show you something. See? This here's a phone I stole on the bus. I don't get it. You call me stupid for stealing flip phones, and then you steal one yourself. Mm. <laughs> that piece of shit probably ain't even worth ten bucks. Wait and see, my friend. Wait and see. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. Don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you gotta help me out. I'm in a real bind. Got arrested. Solicitation. Yeah. Long story short, was on a business trip and got a little antsy. You know the feel. Uh, keep this between us, though, will you? I Who call you the only one I can trust. You've got. Don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. Who is he calling? You gotta help me out. I, your, oh, good. Your old pal. Oh, is it Ken? No. Yeah, it's not one of them. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. It's not one of them. When he brought you in. He was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked oh. up. So Mickey isn't talking to anyone Mickey. inside. Solicitation. Yeah. Long story short, was on a business trip. See. Know the feel. No, not. Keep this no one's us, uh, responding to I Mickey. I called because you're the only one I can trust. You've got to help me. Cops asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money? You think I have any? A dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you, now would I? Anyway, you need to wire the money to my friend's bank account. 165-987-2626. Name's Mickey. Ocean. Yeah, I like the sea. Uh, you'll be doing me a real solid. A real solid. And I'll pay you right back as soon as I get out. 1,300 big smackolas. The extra 300's for your trouble. And nah, nah, don't mention it. Friendship's worth its weight in gold nowadays. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Anyway, we'll back. Catch you later. You really think it'll work, Mickey? He totally bought it. Patience, my friend. Patience. Patience. We'll get the money soon enough. Oops. Ugh. Sorry about that. It's fine. You just stole that guy's phone. That was something else. So something Mickey else? I'll detonated show you the bomb. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're going to just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone. It's too stupid to understand all that. What did I tell you? I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this. Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. Oh. Chip. Chip activated the bomb. Who brought the bomb, though? That's my thing. Whose phone was it that rang? I, uh, to have it. See my phone. Oh, you again? That's gotta be a record. Yeah, you, I, uh... Dwight. So this is Dwight. Oof. Dwight brought the bomb. Chip then detonated the bomb. That for I'm positive now i i think i really know the answer to that one raven i'm not quite sure i would assume it's either sting or someone uh let's do it again where the hell is sting because it's not stuck. Where the hell is Tucker? Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay, okay. No, that's the big man. So it's not Tucker or Dog. No reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Sting is uh, 
Rotterdam, Dwight, who detonated Chip Sting. Yes. <sighs> oh god. You need to answer all three questions right now. One have the correct answer. One have the correct answer. So I'm assuming this is right. Because Chip called the phone. Who is Raven then? Hello, sorry. Hey, Someone's calling Schrader. When you leave, phones, wallets, and the eye pass for me. Suit yourself. Mickey, glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey, Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think your daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, and to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? <laughs> that I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Dr. Cassidy, burning the midnight oil, I see, and, wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I, uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me this time? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. Here's my phone. Sat me down, too. Tucker You're handled that already. Too. Just let him in. You get them back when you leave. So, Sting? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. Uh, this is Doug, right? Tucker is talking to Doug. Oh god, Doug, he up. I can't think. You know what? I'm not so sure. Shreeder doesn't talk at all. So, is it Sting brought the bomb? Again! That's gotta be. Listen to Cassidy and Sting. I'll fill you in once I have more. Raven is you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't you let go him first. Lose. It's Eng. What do you guys do? Yeah. Names are correct though. It's so just that's... you and me now, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull? What are guys trying to pull? I'm setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked up a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's what are the odds? Like? like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp, though. His leg, was it prosthetic? Mm. And uh, did he have a scar on his right eye? And how do you know all that? You know the guy? Interesting. Doug's behind this, no question. <laughs> Doug? Why's that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. You me, Doug, and now, Doug Kent. Doug asked Tucker to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's Still the only Kent. candidate. Damn, you're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss. That's how he lost his leg. That prosthetic leg of his was a gift from our boss, too. So it's Doug, Kent, and Sting. So either either one of them brought the bomb. So it's not... They're not going to be the ones 
I gotta get to that hotel. I'm assuming that Dwight is Raven. For now. Actually, there is something else. I Who just heard from Martin that it's highly likely Raven's about to resurface. Raven? Get out of here. Get out of here. Said so, there's got to be some truth behind it. You've heard of Raven too? Only rumors. Word on the street is Raven kills anyone who gets a look at his face. Once he's made enough money, he runs off and gets himself a new identity. <laughs> no mm. one even knows what he looks like. Holy shit! That's cold, man! Don't tell me you're Raven! If I was him, you'd be the first to go. Oh, true. Just cut this bullshit and get me out of here. Come on! But what am I gonna tell Tucker? Yeah, let me worry about him. Let's go. Leave us a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Who is... Did he have a... Who is calling? Make this whole... Ah, Dwight is Raven. Yeah, Dwight is Raven. I don't know who brought the bomb though. Uh, Doug? Shit. It's just the one person who brought the bomb. Oh, God. I'm guessing everything. Kin? No, it's supposed to be Sting, right? Good. I'm just guessing because I only have one left. <sighs> Hello, Sergeant. Oh, May I, please my phone's back? I still hey, don't know. Because Dwight is right. Uh, who brought the bomb? That I don't know. Uh, who the hell is Cassidy? Cassidy is an officer, right? No, Cassidy isn't an officer. Can you use a mob Out of all of them. Doug doesn't have the bomb. Can't. Ah, there you go. So Kent had the bomb all this time. First case. Oh, good. Who brought the ball? I went to the Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kinta in the VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. I think the boss told him before the rest of us? Yeah, something's up. I've seen Kid drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. Oh. What? Trouble watch to be. Ooh. Legs a bit heavier than I remember. Uh, I that cargo freighter, the one that blew up in the harbor. Raven's doing it. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. Yeah. Oops, uh, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, that, that I understood. I've got this! Huh. It's only got what number? Who cares? Just dial it. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running rockets in the city the past few years. So he calls him to with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel. I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. I was at the Mountain Hotel. I saw that shot on the outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. <laughs> That was nice. Stressful, but nice. I see. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? What do you mean? Sorry, I meant great job. What do you mean? You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace. These aren't but examples. <laughs> No. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? I I don't know. Yeah. 
Knife. We'll see if I will enjoy this theater. There's a lot of people. Again. Seems like your old 13 minute audio. Castmates were just as surprised as the trade papers by your return to this stage. <laughs> I've got to thank you for that, Harvey. Harvey. Saw the articles. Broadway star Sasha. God, this is 13 minutes. For limited run. Talk about publicity. Even I Ooh, wanted to this. believe that fairy tale you fed the press. Well, the people are buying it for now. Still a lot of work to do, you know. And a lot of reporters outside. In any case, you gotta put up a good show this time. We don't want people to start wondering why you really came back. Mm. Otherwise, we'll have a PR disaster on our hands. Don't worry. I did this show for years, remember? I didn't get this big by doing nothing. In that, I have no doubt, Sasha, mm. my dear. It's Sasha. just when we meet that good for nothing who's blackmailing you, don't let him get under your skin, yeah? Mm. If money can make it all go away, then that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> okay. There's only three people who know what really happened two years ago. Whoever's blackmailing me this time, I highly doubt they have anything legit. Mm. Probably just someone who heard the rumors and wants to make a quick buck. Okay. <sighs> Got another text. It's asking me to meet him in the storeroom. Let's go. Where is the storeroom? I'm just gonna follow Sasha for now. Come on in. <gasps> Slim? <laughs> Surprised. Sasha, let Surprised. me handle this. You keep hinting you have something, so let's see it. Well, allow me to introduce you to this rope. <laughs> let me guess. You're gonna try to hang us with that frayed piece of junk. Oh, you're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? <laughs> what do you think the police would say if they got their hands on this, huh? I don't have time for this. Just pay him. You got your cash. Okay. Give it here. That is great. And just remember, this deal never happened. Ooh. You go around blabbing about this, and you'll live to regret it. Sasha organized Emily's murder. Oh, I see. That's it. I see you're still as vengeful as you were two years ago. Yeah. And no more of those texts either. Those about drove me crazy. What texts? Oh, stop playing dumb. You sent me texts in Emily's name. Look for yourself. You'll pay with your life the next time you return to the stage, Emily. <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> that's too hilarious. What, are you being haunted now? Oh, shut it. Did you send this or not? As if, look, that ain't even my phone number. Maybe it was from Emily. Ooh, Ooh. scary. <laughs> You're such an asshole. That's basically my reaction. Leave it. We got the evidence back. That's all that yeah. matters. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Nice seeing you. So... Who set all the ghost texts? Huh? What's he want now? What? More bad news? No, it's nothing. I don't think Slim sent those texts. He's in it for the money, not to torment you. Yeah. Then, whoever it was is still out there? I'm afraid so. Ooh. Tomorrow's the anniversary of Emily's death. I'm starting to think you going on stage isn't is a it, good idea. Yeah. At least until we figured this whole thing out. I mean, what if someone attacks you? I get you're concerned, but don't be, okay? I told Larry I'd do three shows, but my plan is to perform for one night only. I'm mm. supposed to appear back on Broadway tomorrow. I signed a new agreement with the Halcyon Theater Company and everything. If I don't show up, I'll be in breach of contract. Oh, yeah. Uh, though that's, that's only for willful breach. What if it was force majeure? Force See, majeure. For instance, you get injured. Then we'd have enough time to get to the bottom of those mysterious texts. Ghost sex. Injured? Yeah, you know, a fake injury. That would do it. Oh, and say you're injured in front of the press. That'd really back it up. Hmm. You know, 
I think you might be onto something. Maybe pull the same old trick from two years ago. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'll need to go pay a visit to our old friend. But first, I need an excuse to play the witch. Let me think. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Huh? Oh. Okay. Uh, you weren't kidding when you said same old trick. Do you even have any allergies? If I did have an allergy, it'd be a fake one. <laughs> I'm an actress, remember? Actress. Huh. How can I forget? All right, I've got to go meet someone. Toodles. Toodles. Is Jeff in there? <laughs> Sasha? Oh, hey, Four Eyes. Just wanted to come say hi to Jeff. Sounds good. I'll let you two talk. Okay. I gotta check in with the other actors. That you, Sasha? That I heard you? I was gonna come back, but what you doing down here? Figured you'd be up on stage getting ready. I have a favor to ask. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No siree. Not again, <laughs> Sash. It'll be easy. It'll be Just easy. Just do it the same way as you did last time. Uh, so... Not with Tamara being the anniversary of you know what. You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Oh, stop it. You were well paid. Though now that you mention it, what did you do with that old rope? Threw it in the trash, of course. Why? <laughs> What's it to you? <gasps> the trash, of course! That must be where the person who just blackmailed me found it! What? That's impossible! <sighs> Calm down. I wow. took care of it. What a nice way to clean evidence. Clean up your mess. What just do you say? Throw it in you the trash. It again, and we'll call it even. If someone really found it. That's just more reason for me not to do it again. Relax, will ya? No one suspected you last time. Yeah, Four true. Eyes got all the heat. Yeah, Ooh. but while everyone was suspecting Four Eyes, he was suspecting me. That quiet creep was obsessed with Emily. Started poking into things after you left. Uh-uh. Oh. Even if you were willing to pay me again, the only place I'd have to spend it is the prison commissary. Is it Four Eyes that sent the ghost text? I promise. You wanna know why? Because you'll be dropping the house on me this time. Uh, on you? That's exactly right. Even you Pick know I don't want to commit suicide, right? You just cut the rope. And after Four Eyes presses the button to drop the house, I'm going to pretend it hits my feet. Your feet? What exactly are you trying to pull, Sash? Injury. That doesn't concern you. Just do what I'm asking. Okay. All right? Then... We're finished. Mm. And you can pretend this never happened. Well, yeah. All right. Okay. There, it's done. You want me to change the marks on the stage, too? <gasps> what kind <laughs> of stupid question is that? Of course. I don't want to get injured for real. Leave the marks right where they are. Otherwise, that thing might actually fall on me. Mm. Understood? Yes. <laughs> Good. I'm going to go get ready. Okay, just following Sasha. Look this. It is you! Oh, wow. I'm one of your biggest fans. A fan? A fan? I didn't know they allowed fans backstage. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. Actually, I'm your makeup artist. My name's Helen, and I have followed your career from here to Broadway. And I hear you're going to Hollywood next. Oh, I can't believe it. Would it be rude to ask for your autograph? When's your movie start shooting? And is it true your first on-screen role is some big bad villain? Why don't we continue okay. this conversation while you do my makeup? True. Have a seat. Now what were you asking about my new movie? Oh, there's something on my mirror. Killers will be killed, Emily. Oh my gosh, that's the same thing all those ghost texts were saying. Who was in here earlier? I've been waiting right outside this room since Larry told me I was in charge of your makeup. No one's come in or out. And Emily? Didn't Emily die? <gasps> no wonder this message seems like it's written... written in blood! <gasps> no, it's lipstick. There's no way you can perform after this, Sasha. Look closer, you little fool. It's not blood, it's lipstick! Now I'm certain yeah. whoever's behind this must be here in the theater. I'm going to catch them and make their life miserable. 
Okay. Wait here. I need to go look for someone. Look for someone. Look for oh. someone. Four eyes. Hey, four eyes. You seen that manager of mine? Harvey. As I recall, he went into the storeroom earlier. Got it. Thanks. I figured it out. Whoever's pretending to be M. No. What? What the fuck? Oh my God, guys. Are Are you okay? Who could have done this? Harvey, what, what wake this? up. Harvey. What's going on? Why is the back door locked? Larry. Larry. Something terrible's happened. What? Whoa there, Sasha. Calm down. Larry. What happened? It's Harvey and Slim and, and Chrome Dome and Leo. They... Somebody's knocked them out. I, Chrome Dome and I, Leo. I don't even know if they're still alive. I don't even know if they're still alive. What? Wow. That's impossible. I just saw them earlier at the rehearsal. They're in the storeroom. Follow me. The storeroom? That's where Slim goes to get high. He thinks the straw in his costume masks the smell. Anyway, it's almost showtime. You and Ashley get ready to go out. I'll send Four Eyes to check. There's no way I'm going back on stage now. I want to get out of here, but I can't because someone locked the back door. Perhaps it is too dangerous for Sasha. Maybe I can... <gasps> is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. Just need to talk to Sasha for a sec. Just in the storeroom. I don't know who that man is or what he wants. Sasha is... Yeah, Leo is here. Leo and someone, right? Hopefully everything is okay. Now I, I had technical difficulties. My PC was just not cooperating at all. Let's continue. Now, nah, fuck it. I'm, I'm I'm calling this number. Let's see who answers. Huh? Who is it? Huh? Huh? Chrome Dome. Leo. Hey guys. Uh -huh. The show's about to start. What are you still doing here? I could ask the same of you two. Hey, uh, who are you carting along, huh? Wait. Chrome Dome. Leo. The hell is going on here? Nice stash of cash you got there, huh? Do I get a piece of it too? Gah! I, um, no. Clean up the mess. Take a look at all this cash. Who the Forget hell about is? Dorothy and her little dog. Oh, don't worry. We'll take the money, but we're not leaving here while that actress is still alive. We've got oh, a God. reputation to keep up. Sounds good. Let's go find our target and close the door. Got it. Sasha isn't here. Of course she isn't. Are, are you okay? Who could have done this? Harvey, wake up! Harvey! Crumdom and Leo. What's this on the mirror? Killers will be killed. Emily. Someone beat us to it? Hmm? <sighs> what? It's just a threat. Sasha's still alive. Maybe, but things are getting a lot more convoluted than we thought. Still stick to the plan? For now, yes. But be careful. Got it. I don't know who these are. Oh yeah. Could it have, could it have been any more obvious? <clears throat> Is Sasha there? Is Sasha. And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. Just need to talk to Sasha for a sec. Let's do this again. From Dom Leo. Messages from her. You mean the tomorrow's the anniversary of Emily's death? Have you gotten any messages from her? You mean those ghost texts? You guys got them too? 
We sure did. A few days ago, I got a text saying, Killers will be killed. And guess what? Sasha came back today. I figure Emily wants us to avenge her. What the hell? What? Don't tell me you're taking that text seriously. You two are one can short of a six pack. <laughs> oh, whatever. Go on with your revenge fantasy then. But leave me out of it. No can do. We need your help. You need to cut the rope so the house lands on Sasha. You know, kill her the same way she killed Emily. Ooh. Name your price. You two are crazy. I ain't no murderer, and I can't be bought either. Not a murderer, huh? Then tell us who cut Last the rope back then and killed Jesus, Emily. Jesus, calm down. What the hell's gotten into you, huh? It was an accident. Even the police accident. said so. An accident? Or maybe you were smart enough to cover your tracks. You think I'm some sort of master assassin? Yeah. I just work the boards and the flies. This is what we're willing to pay you. More than generous, don't you agree? Just tell us, are you in or out? Don't wave that cash in my face. It would take more than money to get me in your plan. Say I, I agree. I cut the rope and down comes the house on the wrong actress. Or did you forget Ashley is playing the witch tonight? So now you gotta get her and Sasha to switch roles and good luck convincing haughty Miss Hollywood to do that. Are you starting to understand? One dirty deed won't do the trick. There was a lot going on that night. Emily's throat closing up on account of a bad cup of joe. The rope that the forensic examiner said was too old. And then Emily walking onto the exact spot where the house was gonna fall. And she walked there on her own. That's why her death's still a mystery today. Ooh. The rope might be a link, but you boys are missing the rest of the chain. <laughs> you think I care about any of that? All I want is Sasha dead. She murdered Emily. Ooh. So, can you kill her or not, huh? Revenge story, yeah. make it happen, the money's yours. She ain't even listening to me. I'd quit while you're ahead, boys. No way you can pull off something like that. Especially not without an inkling of a plan. If I help you, I might as well turn myself in right now. So stop wasting my time. Out! Out! <laughs> They're not mentioning any names for Leo and Chrome Dome. What do we do now? Without Jeff, we can't... Mm -hmm. I was hoping he'd cave and help us. Would have been easier that way. Though he was right that getting rid of Sasha ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Yeah. Still, she's gotta pay for what she did to Emily. Time to call in the big guns. That text we got. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, killers will be killed? You sure that's Emily telling us to avenge her? Who else would it be? Hmm. Damn, they're... Hmm. I mean, uh, both of them, right? From Dom and Leo. Oh, no, 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 I'm not submitting it. The killer's it. part is telling us she was murdered, so it wasn't some kind of accident. The will-be-killed part's telling us to kill that bitch who killed her. Guess that makes sense. But what about Slim? You think he got those same texts? Slim? When he ain't dancing around in his scarecrow getup, he doesn't give a shit about anything, unless it's good for him. Yeah, but what about Larry and everyone else? Turn off your brain and grow a spine. Tomorrow will be the day Emily died. Okay. It's up to us to see justice served today. No need for name calling. I'm just not sure about those big guns you mentioned is all. Those guys you wanted to hire, they're kind of scary don't worry i'll handle everything okay paul who the it's hell is go. paul once you come in oh I'm wait in the oh, first yeah. room on the left that's all taken care of they'll be here any minute i uh gotta take a leak 
Now? For God's sake, you can't piss now! <laughs> You're shaking pretty bad, Leo. You all right? Me? Yeah, it is I, you. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Just, you know, tomorrow's the anniversary and all, you know? Uh, speaking of, you haven't gotten any texts from Emily, have you? Oh, please. You guys actually believe that superstitious horse shit? I'd expect that from, from the others, but really? You two? Me? <laughs> uh, of course not. Just asking. I mean, makes me wonder is all. I mean, what if they are real? No, they're not. What if that really is Emily asking us okay, to adventure? So I'm a follow for eyes now. <laughs> like I care. I think I didn't exist as far as Emily was concerned. <laughs> following no, ghost text instruction. So Who's even if she was sending me these so-called texts. Yeah, for eyes. For eyes or uh, Helen. So, since we've got some time, why don't we rehearse the opening scene one more time? Blocking's crucial here. We've got this. Don't worry. Sasha's playing Dorothy today, which means... This is the Ashley, house. ...you'll be playing the supporting roles. Really? I knew this would happen. Ooh. Well, whatever. All right. Four eyes, you play Dorothy for now. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. Okay. Okay, which stand on the mark? Yes, much better. Which start walking? Tech, are you ready? Okay, press the button, four eyes. Make sure the house lands right in front of the witch. Okay, the witch screams. Now, she's dead. Release the dry eyes. And the witch, leave the stage from the back. Dorothy, you're on. Walk to the center of the stage. Okay, okay. Good job, guys. Great job. Looking good. Will do. Now, what is Helen here? Got a minute for us? What is it? You've been working in this theater for quite some time, yeah? Yeah. So you knew Emily, the yeah. actress who played Dorothy before Sasha? Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know if Sasha had anything to do with her death, would you? So then. You heard the rumors too. Mm. Sasha took Emily's place right after she died. And just like that, her career took off. I mean, it's hard not to suspect her. Yeah, of course. Uh, you can believe what you want, but there's no evidence. Oh. There's no use in going around pointing fingers. Mm. I guess I just don't get it. I mean, how did the house suddenly just fall on her? Who was holding the remote when it happened? I, uh, I was. Oh? Don't tell me that you might have... <laughs> of course not. And it's not like I wasn't a suspect as well. But there's no way I could have done it. The remote only controls the hook on the rope. If the rope breaks, well, no remote control or hook can stop that. Ah, uh, true. The rope broke before I even pressed the button. Mm. That was confirmed by the police, too. Oh, I see. Still quite the interesting coincidence, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, think whatever yeah, yeah, you yeah. want, but watch it. If Sasha finds out you've been snooping around, she'll make your life miserable. Ooh. Uh, motive. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Is it the Helen that sent all the ghost texts? Wow, so this thing holds up that whole house, huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing in here? Oh, cool your jets. It's faster to get to the dressing room through here. Faster until you break your leg on something. All right, all right. Duly noted, Mr. Fun Killer. Quick question, though, just because I'm curious. This rope, what happens when it gets old, huh? Will it break? Break? Yeah. Did someone tell you to come asking me questions? Heavens to Murgatroyd, it was just a question, whatever. <laughs> Have fun. What a nice question. Hmm. 
But it's hell, I'm just gonna get around. Uh, I'm assuming I have the right answers now. I'm gonna be as villain. I've got the most brilliant idea. Wow, what's got you all in a tizzy, girl? The idea of a lifetime. This is gonna be a golden opportunity for me. But I need your help. Ooh. I'm listening. I was just talking to Larry, and he reminded me of something. If there's gonna be as much press here as he says, I need to play Dorothy. Even just once. It's guaranteed to get my name out there. Quite true. Out there. Oh. Sure it would. But there's no way in hell Sasha will agree to that. Well, sure, not willingly, but what if something were to, you know, happen? And she wouldn't be able to play Dorothy. And just what are you thinking, huh? You pull something like that, and Sasha will eat you alive. True. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt her or anything. Just who do you think I am? I'm thinking... Something more along the lines of those ghost texts from Emily. You mean that actress who died on stage, right? A couple different people have said they've gotten texts from her now. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Oh, so it's not yeah, Hello. and rumors say it was Sasha who had Emily killed, which is how Sasha became the leading actress. I was just talking to Four Eyes about that. He said there was no proof and that I shouldn't fan the flames, so to speak. I don't need any proof. All I'm thinking is, what if I use the whole ghost texting thing to scare Sasha a little? Make it so she doesn't want to play Dorothy anymore. Then I'll get my chance. That's actually not a half bad plan. So it's not Helen. From what I heard, everyone here liked Emily a lot. Wouldn't surprise me if Sasha feels like target numero uno right now. I mean, yeah. They did seem to be pretty choked up anytime someone mentioned her name. Yeah, of If course. they really think she was murdered, I wouldn't doubt they'd be out for blood. All right. All right, all right. I'll play along. But what is it you need me to do exactly? I'm not going to hurt anyone. Just letting you know that right now. Okay, yeah. What do you take me for, huh? Nah. All I need you to do is give her dressing room a little makeover, makeover. before she goes in. <sighs> to scare it's her. It's Ashley. Helen is just you know, another one. Try. Mm, you're the best. Yeah, yeah. You can thank me later. Now let's go to these guys. You've got nothing to worry about. Come on in. Here's the down payment. Targets Sasha. I'll take the money, but this guy is Paul. The target Sasha. She'll be found dead on stage tonight. Time of death will be 8.15 p.m. Unless the original plan changes, you don't have to repeat it. Okay. Uh, no changes. No, no changes. In our disguises. Are they ready? Two costumes. The Cowardly Lion and the Tin Man. Put them on, and you'll be able to walk around backstage. Yeah. <laughs> no one will suspect a thing. Mm hmm. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Jesus, that sounded just like yeah. Leo. Almost. We're pros. We can act better than you when we have to. Just one more thing. Almost. Us too. We're not going to become suspects, right? Good thinking. So, what's your alibi? Alibi? The police are going to ask about your whereabouts later. Of course. What are you going to say, huh, Leo? Yeah. What? I, uh, I don't no. know. Yeah. Happens yeah, every time. Our alibi? Mm, how about... We were on stage. Ugh. That's so costumes bad. Costumes you just gave us? Uh, right. Uh, we could... Report them stolen. Ah, <sighs> tell you what. We'll provide you guys with an alibi. Free of charge. Oh, that's right. Oh. <laughs> uh, and they're out. Nighty night, boys. Oh. <laughs> Amateurs. All of them. I have no idea what they're getting into. Well, the customer is always right. 
We only did this to make sure we get the rest of our payment. True. Anyway, let's drag him to the storeroom and tie him up. When the police arrive, they'll just add him to the pile of victims. True. No harm, no, no foul. foul. I'll carry him. You make sure the hallway's clear. Got it. All clear. Let's go. That way. Who is it? Huh? Huh. Oh. Chrome Dome. Leo. Hey, guys. Uh -huh. The show's about to start. What are you still doing here? I could ask the same of you two. Hey, uh, who are you carting along, huh? Wait. Chrome Dome. Leo. What the hell is going on here? Nice stash of cash you got there, huh? Ooh. Can I get a piece of it, too? Gah! I, uh, um... No! We're gonna be a mess. Take a look at all this cash. So how about what? the thieves? How about them? Harvey and Slim. There, huh? We were pretty convincing back there, huh? Now where's my cut? Mm? Ah, there you go. Gotta hand it to you, man. Must have been tough getting this big star back here. Ah, uh, don't flatter me. But what was that text about, huh? You don't trust me? Had to hear Sasha in my conversation for yourself. So you make me call you behind her back. That's a good way of getting caught. Also, that's a bit paranoid. Even for you. Ooh. But whatever. She agreed to the fake injury thing. So we'll be fine. Wait, what? Text? Call? I didn't know such thing. This whole thing too much for you, big guy? Rattling a few brain cells, huh? You sent me a text telling me to call you, you ignoramus. Look, right here. Call me. Don't let Sasha know. Gotta hear what she wants to do next, huh? What the hell? Let me see that. And see? The text before that, telling me to get her to fake an injury. And before that, telling me to convince her to come back to the theater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why would I care about any of that? I'm only in this for the money. Doesn't matter to me if she's injured or not, or even if she performs tonight. Besides, this ain't even my phone number. Oh. Wait, if these aren't from you, then who Ooh. the hell are they from? Oh. Who is she talking? Who is Larry talking to? Huh? Come in here for a sec, will ya? I want to ask you something. Yeah? You know <sighs> Sasha, right? What made Miss Big Star suddenly decide to come back and perform here again? In this tiny little theater? Not sure. Article I read says she misses us. Something about never forgetting her roots. <laughs> Ha ha, I'm so weirded out. Seriously though, what do you think? You believe that? How in the world am I supposed to know? And the Dorothy before her? Emily? Wasn't she like the pride and joy of this theater back then? Everyone loved her. Larry and her had a thing. And hell, even Leo and Chrome Dome were all googly. Who all is back. Larry listening to? So, so weird. Right there. Yeah. What kind of stupid question is that? Oh, so sorry. I got a little carried away. Let's go here. You're looking a bit under the weather. Everything all right? I I'm fine. I'm fine. Who is that? Old friend of mine. Never mind that. I just go on. So go get. I'm not sure about the ghost text. So, that isn't talking at all. Damn, he's quiet. Huh? Who'd be calling me now? Emily's number? Hello? Who is it? Is anyone there? Jeff? Sasha? Uh, how? 
how? So is it Jeff? I'll let you two talk. I gotta check in with the other actors. Oh, it's Four Eyes. Is that you, Sasha? Four Eyes has the thing. Yeah, I was right from the start. Four Eyes called Larry, then left the phone there. Jeff? Sasha? Something. Yeah. I'm looking at the phone. Rice is very quiet though. Where are you going? Huh? You again? What? Something else to double check? Nah. I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything all right there? You ain't normally one to go around forgetting stuff. Jeez, Sasha's back for a few days and suddenly you're acting all weird. Hmm, four eyes. You're hardly the only one who's acting weird, wouldn't you say? What do you mean by that? Never mind. Found it. I'll leave you be now. I think that's this is right. <sighs> Possibly the Leo thing, this one. Yeah, it's it, that's the only one wrong. Who followed the ghost discs? So that's Ashley, isn't it? Shit. No, it's not. It. Larry. Jeff. I would say it's uh. Harvey, actually. Harvey, there you go. Still no, really. Because it's not slim. It wouldn't be four eyes, of course. But it'd be Larry then. But that's the manager. Really? So yeah. You're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? Not the the anniversary of you know what. You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Yeah, but what if someone really did murder her? I'd be first in line. To see them so that's what they'll be calling me now. Emily's number. Hello? Who is it? Oh. Is anyone there? Jeff? Is that it? Sasha? I didn't fully understand Check that question. One last time. As soon as that's done, we'll get started. Oh yeah. Any orders from our dear director, Four Eyes? Just wants you to double check all the props. Me now. Yeah, you know you are. Amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm calling this number. Let's see who it's Susan. Uh, it? uh, that's you? that was for ice. Why? Something else to double check? Nah, uh, I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything alright there? You ain't normally one to go around forgetting stuff. Amazing. <laughs> I, I always get like at least one. I'm getting at least one correct answer. Interesting. Then someone used the director to commit the murder. Congratulations, detective. You've passed the test. Thank you. Unfortunately, there's no time to celebrate. Oh. The real work is about to begin. See that? Not really see. Hear that? That was just a few tests. So. Those weren't actually the actual thing. They, those weren't the detective cases that I would need to solve. Those were just tests.
you know, like actual starting points. I, I already have a hard time with that. And I know why, because I don't really put time and effort into listening to every conversation. I should do that. <laughs> it's just very time consuming to record an episode of this. But it's really fun. Even though I don't get the correct answers. <laughs> but I'm starting to get, uh, uh, what do you call this? The pattern or something? Uh, starting to get uh, hints, like actual hints, like the uh, what do you call it? Uh, four eyes leaving the phone because there's an actual sound of uh, him leaving the phone, or uh, Chip mentioning that uh, earlier. Chip mentioning that there was only one number, so that would uh, give away that that was the uh, basically detonator of the bomb. So hints like that. I'm starting to actually understand or get them so that's episode 2 of unheard hopefully i can somewhat properly record or properly answer the next cases but that's gonna be it for now thank you so much for watching bye bye